good picture should uh, give an emotion and uh, all depends what you you photograph I don't like uh, uh, war photography because we see always dead bodies and things like that I don't think it's because you photograph dead bodies in a war that you are a great uh, war photographer I'm more interested in uh, uh, humanity and people in their surrounding than uh, uh, spectacular pictures of disaster or things like that. Not so much my cup of tea. These days, you know, photographer, it's a really a, a hard job because you have now TV, you have everybody taking pictures and uh, if you see, for example, a photographer who have been uh, covering Kuwait war or Afghanistan war, most of these photographers, they, if they want to work, they have to be with the army, what they call embed. So in fact, you are already under control of, uh, you are not really independent. <music> Documentary will always remain as something very important because we, we, we have still to have photographers to document a major event around the world, that's obvious. In fact, there, are, there have never been so many photographers covering the, what is going on. And in addition to that, for example, what happened in Syria now, there is a censorship, but there are still photographers or amateurs Photographing a riot or photographing the the atrocity of the police or whatsoever. Thanks God, this this at least there, there are some documents and they are not done by professional, by the way. But this is the new thing. Shooting is. 50% of the work. Editing, of course, is uh, uh, so important and uh, it's, uh, you have to devote time for edit. You have some photographers who are good photographers, but they don't know how to edit. They, they learn step by step, but uh, to edit, it's, it's, it's a job. It's something you, you have to, to catch up, to learn. When I uh, joined Magnum, you know, Magnum was, the tradition of Magnum first was black and white photography. And at that time there was a lot of possibilities with magazines uh, all around the world. So uh, we know uh, all this has changed. Then color took more and more power and improved, the quality of the magazine improved, the printing improved. So, but then in the meantime, uh, TV, uh, became stronger and stronger. So photojournalism is obviously uh, declining because of TV. More and more photographers looking for other way to make their own uh, living. So they, they could be uh, more interested uh, very in architecture or photographing things very personal which has nothing to do with uh, journalism. So in that way, uh, Magnum has changed. I mean, there are now photographers who are more interested in what we call art world. I don't like so much art world, but they, are, they consider themselves as artists and others uh, photographers just as photojournalists. I don't like this kind of one category is photojournalist, one is uh, an artist. It it's could be very artificial. I think most of us are doing, we have two hats, two, two face. One is uh, sometimes uh, doing photojournalism and over and in the meantime working on a long project. Turkey is one of the countries I'm uh, 
very much uh, motivated and interested. Why? Because it's a country which goes to modernity and still keeps its own culture and tradition and who has an extraordinary uh, cultural heritage. This Zaman project to ask uh, around 20 or 25 foreign photographers. Uh, I think it's a very good idea to have foreign eye who come and uh, choose, pick up their idea and they come with a fresh eye. So I, I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting project. This project, uh, I think we have very been very lucky because yesterday there was the in in Ayoub, uh, it's first there was good light. It was raining, fantastic light. And there was about, shall I say, about 60 young boys uh, who are going to be circumcised with their mother. So they went to the, they went to Ayoub one of the most beautiful uh, mosques in Istanbul, one of my favorite place. And then they went to a park, which is called uh, Miniature, you know, where you have all the monuments of Istanbul. And so you had these children playing in the middle of this uh, dummy. It's, it's quite, quite interesting. So we had a lot of fun. <laughs>